meeting for um, Village of Westmont for February 10th, 2010. Um, can I get a roll call, please? Commissioner Anton? Here. Commissioner Pill? Here. Commissioner Thomas? Here. Commissioner Fleet? Here. Commissioner Fidesco? Here. And Commissioner Van Buren is here. We have a quorum. Okay, you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, well, I got you guys standing. If anybody's going to testify, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Um, I, I, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Everybody, I do? Okay. All right, thank you. Those two. Okay. Um, I'd like to um, remind everybody to turn off their phones, put, it to, put them to um, vibrate, if you could. And we do not have the meetings, uh, meeting minutes from uh, last week, or last month, I'm sorry, um, done yet, so we'll, we'll table that until next week. And now I guess we're going to go on to new business. Um, planning and zoning um, 10006, Susan Rollo of Safe Dining regarding a property located at 6352 South Cass Avenue, Westmont, Illinois, 60559 for the following. A special use permit request to operate a commercial food safety school in a B2 general business di district. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, my name is Suzanne Rallo, and I'm the president of the Safe Dining Association. And uh, we teach food safety and sanitation to the food service industry. And I'm here tonight to request a special use permit for our um, office space that we have rented at 6352 South Cass Avenue. Uh, we teach food safety and sanitation there in that location uh, between six to eight times a month. We are there from 8.30 till about 6 o'clock in the evening, so 8.30 in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening. And we host anywhere from 5 to 20 students at a time, uh, which is why the village has requested that we, uh, we come to you and request the special use permit. Okay, is there anybody else in the uh, audience who would speak on this? Okay, close public comment. Can we start with Commissioner Thomas, please? Who are, who are your clients? Uh, we teach to the food service industry, restaurant professionals, uh, culinary school students, um, the general public, but it's mainly uh, our client base is large corporate clients uh, in the food service industry. And they need they need to be certified in food safety and sanitation. They need you for the certification. Yes, I'm an instruct, a licensed instructor with the state of Illinois. That's all I have. How, how many people are typically in a class? Generally speaking, um, on average, I would say 15, 20. And the maximum? Uh, the maximum that I can hold in there that I feel comfortable is 24. We have been, uh, they've given us a, a larger occupancy, but I would never do that. So about 24 at the And at is the there end. typically one instructor present? Yes, there's one instructor present. Great. Wish you the best of luck. Welcome. Thank I have you. No further questions. Commissioner Fleet, please. Uh, yeah, no questions about the operation, but just wondering, is, is there a, uh, a gap or something that between our communication that um, allowed you to get, I guess, this far down the road without, without getting to permits. How, well, how did that happen? It, well, what had happened was when we first signed the lease with the landlord, they instructed me to come and, to, well, actually to apply for our business license, which I did. And then we got busy and things went on and I never heard anything. I have, I've never actually rented retail space before, so I was basically um, unaware that I needed something like this. And then I got a nice visit from the fire marshal and he did his little inspection and we talked about everything and that's when I found out I needed to come here in front of you and ask for a permit that I didn't know I need to have. So I do apologize for that, but nobody told me. Is including there something our landlord, procedures so. that would have caught that or Norm normally the the occupancy uh, request uh, would be triggered by a business license application uh, I'm not exactly sure why that didn't happen at the time but uh, I guess the system works although it's a little bit tardy in this case okay okay no further questions welcome aboard thank you 
comments, Steve. Okay, uh, I, I just have a question regarding the facility. You're strictly you're strictly a a school type setting. You don't have any, you know, kitchen facilities where you 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 know show uh, anything. No, or, we okay. have nothing like that at all. It's strictly um, classroom style. Uh, the only thing that I have in that ground would be you know a coffee pot. But other okay, than that, so what I was wondering is if there's anything that would require health county. No, know, there county isn't. permit because no. there's no there's, we work with the health department okay. so we you know if that was something that we needed but no it's okay nothing at all welcome thanks Commissioner van buren yeah obviously didn't come out of nowhere so you've existed elsewhere yes and um as a business or as and and if so where we uh, have been teaching uh, for the last 20 years our office is based out of our home uh, we teach in facilities in Elgin. We work with the school there, uh, Elgin Community College. We have taught at the College of DuPage, and we're still on the faculty there. Triton, the faculty there. Uh, we've rented hotel space, and we really are looking for a, a permanent place that we can call home. And when we saw the strip mall, thought it would be a great location. Okay. And, it is a nice location. You know, it really is. It's worked out very well for us so far. And. Uh, um, so you've been you've been in business for how many years? Uh, this is our twentieth year. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, and I, and I, I, I get this correct. You only have classes like six times a, a month, roughly. Or yes, because what we do is we um, we try to stagger our classes. So we do we we're actually teaching in Elgin, Gurney, Orland, oh. Westmont. So we try to do that, and I we have two English classes there a month which is four days and then one Spanish class there a month which is another two days but we would also like the also the opportunity to in, in, you know to expand which is why we wanted a permanent place gotcha I get it okay anybody else any, any commissioners any more okay we need a this is a special use right Findings of fact. okay <clears throat> criteria number one the proposed use at this location will not have any adverse effects above and beyond those inherently associated with such a special use irrespective of its location within the zoning district. All operations by the applicant are conducted indoors. Class sizes range from 15 to 20 students plus one instructor in a 900 square foot storefront classroom. Classes will be taught only approximately six times per month during regular business hours. This use is not expected to produce any adverse noise, lighting, odors, or parking problems, and is not expected to have any adverse effects at this location. You agree with this, raise your hand. We are unanimous. Criteria number two, the proposed use meets the special conditions of special condition number two. The proposed use is not expected to cause appreciable traffic congestion or hazard to pedestrian safety. The storefront classroom is located approximately 350 feet from the Cass Avenue property line. Sufficient parking exists on site for student instructor parking, and there are two means of ingress egress from Cass Avenue. In addition, the small class size operated on a limited basis will result in little traffic congestion. You agree with this? Raise your hand. We are unanimous in agreement. I entertain a motion for the special use permit for um, the safe dining property, um, uh, PZ10006, for the special use permit to operate a commercial food safety school in the B2 General Business District. So moved. Second. Okay, that was by Commissioner Pill and seconded by Commissioner Thomas. Okay, you have our. Yeah, we need a roll call. Oh, roll sorry, roll. sorry, roll call. <laughs> huh? Jumping ahead of myself. Okay, Mr. Clerk, can we have a roll call, please? Commissioner Pill? Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Fleet? Yes. Commissioner Fidesco? Yes. Commissioner Van Buren votes yes, and Chairman Antel? Yes. Okay, now you have our. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you'll, go, you'll talk to Fred and go before the, the committee as a whole. The next meeting coming up, and welcome. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. PZ10007. Um, I like that. Nicholas Gaisana, Gaisana and Robert Sainawa regarding the property located at 128 South Cass Avenue, Westmont, Illinois, for the following. A special use request to operate a ground floor barbershop in the B1 Limited Business District. Hope I didn't torture your name so bad. It's uh, Giancana. Giancana. That's easy. All right. Okay, sir. 
Everybody looked over like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm excited. Um, yeah, my, my name's Nick Ginkana. I'm here to request a special use permit for a barbershop at 128 South Cass. Uh, basically, it's a one, two-man barbershop at the most. Uh, basically, what I'm looking for is an old-fashioned town barbershop. I come from Clarendon Hills, where I had a business for six years. Uh, I lost my lease in the building I was at, and uh, was driving through Westmont. I noticed there really wasn't any barbershops. And, you know, I know Westmont has a lot of traffic, and I was like, well, I have a big following from Clarendon Hills, and it was right next door, so I figured, hey, you know, it's close for my customers to come over. Um, I'm by myself, so the 128 was perfect location for me being that it's a small location. Um, I, I don't really need much. You know, it's got enough for me in, w in one other chair. Um, I've been doing hair for, you know, nine years. I've been barbering. Um, I've worked in salons for about a year and then went to barbering because it's what I like to do. So this is strictly, strictly barbershop. Um, I, I'm thinking, you know, I'll probably sell some men's hair products down the line. Other than that, it's uh, pretty cut and clear. I mean, it's an old town barbershop. Okay. Um, that's about it. All right, good. <laughs> Anybody in the public want to comment on this? Okay, public comment is closed. Let's start with uh, Commissioner Fleet, please. Um, can I just see if I get a, trying to find a name? What, uh, what are you going to call your barbershop? Uh, the barbershop. Okay. The barbershop. And there is, well, partially open. It's never open when I'm coming home because I come home late. But there is a barbershop on, on Lincoln and um, Burlington. Um, oh, it's been there for a long time. Only yeah. by nowadays. Yeah. Mm. But uh, certainly we could use two barbershops. Well, I mean, I, I know <laughs> it's funny because... Um, I've had a lot of customers come to me in Clarendon Hills because uh, apparently he's not open very much. So, oh. and he's older, you know. And I figure, hey, you know, I know I'll be here for a long time. <laughs> so you're selling. You're, you're saying that uh, you'll look at selling um, some retail. Yeah, men's products. men's men's hairline products, gels, products, gels, yeah. gels, shave cream, stuff like that nature. Okay. Uh, no further questions. Commissioner Fedesco. Yeah. Um, as you probably are aware, and you were probably told by the staff that there is an ordinance, and that's why you're here, is that uh, it's uh, limited as far as the businesses in the downtown business district, and barbershops are one of the excluded. <laughs> uh, barbershops and beauty salons, is that correct, John? Uh, on the first floor, yeah, they're, they're not excluded, but they're allowed pursuant they're, to a special They're allowed use. Per, per, the, per the special that's use permit. Use. Right. You know, you have to come in. Um, in this particular facility is, is, is somewhat small. Uh, I don't know what was there before. Is that the same building? I didn't get a chance to look at it as the insurance agency. It is. Okay. All right. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the south end of the downtown, and it's, uh, it's a building that uh, could use a little bit of help, I guess. So I would, I would think that uh, I wouldn't have any real objection to it if you would... Uh, you know, go ahead and, and think seriously about selling those products because every little bit of uh, sales revenue, tax revenue that we can generate is uh, appreciated. Right. So, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've always our service-oriented business. Right. No, I, I, ma'am, I've always been big on selling product. I mean, especially with men who, guys aren't typically even um, an, when you go to some some barbershops, typically they won't even approach you about a product. But that's because as men, we don't know any we don't know any different. And being, you know, if we're approached with something and said, hey, you know, try this, as opposed to you know, <clears throat> what we use at home. Yeah, well, I'm just saying I encourage you to do that because, you know, you're the expert. You, you know what's out there in the marketplace. And, right. you, know, you know, most men just go to the, <laughs> the store, the discount store, and buy whatever's on the shelf. You know, but if you have a good product, you know, you may be able to mm. generate sales. Right. Encourage that. I don't have any other questions. Good luck. Mr. Van Buren. Yes. Um, we have lost a barber and gained a barber over on 63rd Street in the last year. And uh, 
Would that be 63rd in KSA? Right, right. And uh, um, I'm wondering, is there such a thing as a scalp massage anymore? <laughs> uh, Only but, Wally. And, and a charge? <laughs> I don't know. I think most of my customers kind of feel, <laughs> feel uncomfortable me rubbing their head. But. No, they don't want you rubbing their head, huh? <laughs> <Not> me, <either. laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> if you really wanted it. Okay. No, you know, I know a lot of barbers did. They have the old massagers, and then, I mean, I've never done it, but. Okay, okay. George, you know. And do you. Um, I've actually gotten a, a few. Raymond was there in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. He's, I've, I've actually got a, quite a number of his customers when he left. Yeah. And, and how about uh, do you do straight edge? <sighs> straight edge? I, I don't. I'm not licensed to do it. Okay. You have to be licensed. Yeah, you have to be licensed. And um, and I'm sure there's right now a there's lot of there's a lot of uh, it's um, good. It's a big sanitary problem it's good. <laughs> with you know with HIV right. and, and hepatitis and all that. So a lot of places don't even offer it anymore. Right. That bites. I want to wish you luck. Thank you, Commissioner Pill. Please. Um, what. Um, what kind of condition is the facility in? Do you have to do any work to it or have work done to uh, modify it for your use? Um, from what I was, the only thing I, I mean for me, it's, it's, it's simple. I mean, right now there's carpet in it. From what I understand, there's wood underneath. Um, other than hang up a mirror and mm -hmm. put my styling chair in, I would probably throw in maybe a, a pergo floor, which is, it's a small area, very inexpensive. Um, and I mean nothing. No, I mean I, I know I wouldn't need any permits, other than like, you know hanging up mirrors or cosmetic. I mean, nothing. Signage. Uh, signage would just be stickers in the window. Um, barber pole is kind of in question. I might just you know they have sticker poles that I could put in. But that's about uh, it. The old-fashioned barber sign. -in. I don't know if that gets approved or not, but. Those are uh, sort of in keeping with your old-fashioned barber shop theme. Those are sort of. Uh, I mean, I, that's another question now. As opposed to putting um, a pole out, out outside of the building, connected to the building, I didn't know if that would have to be you have to get a permit would require for that. a sign permit to do that. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's something I would like to do. Major, yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty yeah. expensive, but. <laughs> and uh, are you a Tuesday through Saturday type of operation? Tuesday Saturday, yeah. Any evenings? Ten to six thirty. I mean, and you know, I, I basically I'll stay to whatever, you know. I used to take appointments in Clarendon Hills. Um, I found right now I've been working down the street actually at uh, Cuts on Cass for the past month. And uh, what I've noticed is I've been getting more walk in traffic being in, in Westmont on a busy street. So it's hard for me to take, you know, appointments being with I got new people coming in and my, and my uh, old customers from Clarendon Hills. So, I mean, I'll, most likely it would be. 10 to 10 to 6 30 7 ish tuesday through saturday right. well welcome and best of luck thank you commissioner thomas i have no questions okay i don't have any questions either i can see pill and i could use a haircut so i know i saw you in the elevator <laughs> <laughs> we can we can work it'd be, it'd be great to have in town you guys get off i didn't want to say anything <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right so we've got a it's a special use so wait for that head findings effect mr kimball criteria number one the proposed use at this location will not have any adverse effects above and beyond those inherently associated with such a special use irrespective of its location within the zoning district this proposed barber shop will contain only one chair initially with the possibility of adding a second chair and will have only one employee. The applicant will maintain normal business hours and this use will not generate adverse traffic, noise, lighting, odors, or parking problems at this location. You agree with this? Raise your hand. Unanimous. Criteria number two, the proposed use meets the special conditions of special condition number two. Due to the small scale nature of this proposed barber shop and the availability of both off street and public parking spaces, this proposed use is not expected to cause appreciable traffic congestion or hazard to pedestrian safety. You agree with this? Raise your hand. Unanimous again. Have the clerk call. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm falling apart today. All right. Can um, I would entertain a motion for the special use permit for the. Ground floor barbershop in the B1 limited business district for Nic Nicholas Giancana. Motion to approve. Second. 
Okay, motion to approve by Commissioner uh, Fidesco and then seconded by Commissioner Fleet. Now can the clerk call roll, please. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Fleet? Yes. Commissioner Fidesco? Yes. Commissioner Van Buren votes yes. Commissioner Pell? Yes. And Chairman Anton? Vote yes. So now you have our approval to go on to the board. Good luck, and we can all use haircuts. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay, any, um, do we have any old business? Anything? Anyone? Is there any uh, update, uh, Fred, on the uh, comprehensive plan progression? Um, just, just that the RFP has been created by the village planner, and uh, we will be promulgating that, I think, in concert with the village board's consideration of next year's uh, proposed budget. Uh, it would be presumptuous of us to issue that uh, if there's no funding appropriated in next year's budget. And as you're all aware, we're in the kind of the, the middle of our budget preparations at the staff level, should have a working draft budget document available for the village board in the very near future uh, for approval prior to its effective date, May 1st. Thank you. Anything else? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor of adjournment, aye. 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 You're adjourned.